Yeah. Next match between Colin Scan on Turbine. Doing map reveal once again. There you go. Turbine. Not sure why that was necessary. Upper left hand corner we have Kala as the or by Maru as the yellow Protoss six o'clock location. We have Scan. Scan dominating this far, but honestly I feel like part of it is it's just it's it's hard to tell sometimes. Because keep in mind, Scan is theoretically one of the top 24 players in the world at StarCraft. He went into ASL, made it to the round of 24, I believe, yeah? I'm a little bit behind on my ASL watching because I've been doing so much casting and trying to keep track of VSL and VSL players. You know, and trying to live life. Not everything's StarCraft. But I do feel like this map definitely slanted against this matchup. Because here's the thing, even with that, that proxy tech... Scan was able to get inside his opponent's base, was able to see the lack of pylon, and then it was just, it feels like that was dead on arrival. And it re that really does feel like a huge detriment in the early game against Protoss, is that you, it, you can't always get the scouting information against your Terran opponent, whereas it seems like they are able to get that scouting information fairly freely. So yes, you get that early economic boost with that 12 Nexus, but doesn't seem like there's a way you can really counter it uh, compared with your opponent. However, we have seen at least thus far Kala able to take a match when he was able to get to carriers. So we'll see what kind of formulation he, come up, he can come up with, honestly. To be like, okay, keep scan back for a long enough period of time, get carriers in the air, and play from there. We do see saving towards mineral and that probe moving out to go ahead and take that 12 nexus. I feel like, before I go into anything further, Scan, though, I don't know if he'll ever watch these. Probably not. But, big shout out to him. He's honestly been probably the greatest asset, maybe the greatest asset from the Korean community to the foreigner Broodor community. In his availability to Artosis, uh, just being around that channel and talking to him, I almost, this is kind of how I feel about it. Artosis, at the moment, is kind of that guy who's really pushing Brood War. I mean, he's the one who's doing all the Twitch streaming. He's the biggest Twitch streamer. He's definitely kind of the captain at the head of the ship as things stand. Him and Rustbrain. Who are him, Rustbrain, and ZZZ0. Producing uh, Russian Cyber Games, BSL, those, those guys. And then Scan, just making himself available to, first of all, be around, do the English streaming, provide tutorials to Artosis, which by proxy gives a lot of tutorial information to anybody else watching the stream wanting to get better. Point being, Scan's like a boss. He's awesome. And I'm glad for him. Canceling that initial marine. Interesting. Maybe to get a factory down a little bit earlier? Curious. Perhaps realizing doesn't really have to worry about it. Scouting upper hand base finds nothing. There is a zealot being produced initially here for Kala. Cybernetic score about halfway finished and he has that assimilator working in. Now Marine being produced. Refinery up, three SCVs there. Let's see if he goes ahead. It's actually mining a little bit early. But yeah, I, this is kind of the factor I feel. Like, he just can't quite... Maybe if... A much... And part of it is, is maybe if there was a little bit of later Nexus. I'm wondering with this the mix-up build order. Is, yeah, go ahead and go for maybe like a... Oh, gas steal again. Oh, the punishment. Maybe with the... A little bit later of a Nexus, after Gate. You could deny information to your Terran opponent and maybe play the game from there. I'm wondering if that would even be the better build order overall. But it's hard to not take... It's hard to not take a 12 Nexus when you know you can basically just grab it. Scan wandering up. You can go ahead and see the robotics facility, everything else. That probe backing off into that mineral only. Two Marines on the front. Two factories being built. No second guess, though, yet for Scan. That SCV still inside that base, sees that robo, and has just all sorts of scouting information. Second gas, and I think there's a little bit of latent time where that refinery is killed and it can still see what's inside that base, so I think he sees that second, gate, second gas being grabbed as well. Second gateway, gateway plop down with that robo, so I think we're going to see two gate into expand again, perhaps? With robo from there. I take it back, Citadel of Levadoon. dune. So maybe Dark Templar drop. And I'll be interested to see how Dark Templar do. I actually kind of like Dark Templar drop if they can get inside the base, if they can drop. Second gas is up here for scan because 
This is a lot of territory to run back and forth between. Second machine shop being built. Dragoons wandering up. Pushing into that base, able to get an initial kill and actually might be able to open up this front door. So second Marines being killed. Scan getting a little bit negligent. Zealot wandering up. And is he going to get there in time? This front door actually might get busted open. Let's see. They're retargeting that SCV. SCV repairing the SCV being attacked. Some nice... Mi that's Pro Gamer Micro there for you. So he is going to be able to hold the front. And with that siege tank there to provide support and an additional Marine, he's going to be able to back up. So a little bit of disruption. But Scan able to hold it. There is a pylon nearby. I don't think that's for proxy. I think that's just to spot a probe nearby here to keep an eye on additional third bases. Two machine shops down, which suggests we may see and two additional factories. So we're going to see some early some sort of early push here. Level 1 air weapons already upgrading comparatively. So Templar Archives. So we're going to see just two base Arbiter, I think. Which, I mean, I remember seeing way back in the days of Python. So two base Arbiter from Kala. It does have a shuttle. Two more gateways. So it's possible we'll see, we'll see some Dark Templar in the mix. But it, but I think, yeah, no, he's, he's going for the two base Arbiter play. Which will, it's not going to completely negate the vultures in the mines, but usually when you're following this up with a lot of vultures in the mid-game, you're looking to harass expansions that might be out there from your, your Protoss opponent, but... Or something along those lines. Four Dark Templar being produced. However, Scan moving out for his attack, which I think is going to end up in front of that base right around the eight-minute mark. And he doesn't... He, he'll have mines, so I'll have to rely on mines for his detection. Not even close to having scans or anything else out. So what is this? Five siege tanks, three marines, two SCVs, going up against a handful of Dark Templar. At least one Dark Templar on the ground, and some other units. That observer is going to see it, so let's see if they end around this shuttle. Is going to be spotted. Looks like Scan is not going to turn around with the rest of that. And Kala... Interesting. So he's just going to go ahead and drop. He's like, okay, I think I might have this one just straight out. Some mines being planted here in the main to deal with these Dark Templar. They got to be careful with those mines because those mines can be dragged. Dark Templar doing some damage on the rest of this attack force. Kala, knowing Scan doesn't have any... Yeah, Scan just GGing right there. Got caught with his pants down. Was looking for a timing attack to hit. Couldn't get the mines in position to deal with the DTs. Had no detection otherwise. Kala with a build order win right there. Gonna move on to the next match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.